to question number six. Uh, the problem says two, uh, two forces act on a single object. One of them is 10 newtons to the right, and the other is 12 newtons to the left. What is the total force on the object? On this problem, it's a pretty uh, easy, straightforward problem. The only thing you have to do is visualize the forces. Okay, One of them is 10 newtons to the right. The other one is 12 newtons to the left. And uh, right is usually denoted by a positive. Uh, left is usually denoted with a negative, negative 12 newtons. That means it's to the left. So what would be the total force on it? 10 minus 12, negative 2 newtons. So that means the net force on it would be 2 newtons to the left. Okay? The negative just means indicates the direction. So I don't really need to put negative here in the picture because I already drew left, right? So it's better just to write 12 newtons left, and then the net force is 2 newtons left. But if you're going to write it, you should write it with a negative, so that, that means it's to the left. So out of the choices, what's the answer? You notice there's a negative 2 and a 2. So if you chose this one quickly, it would be wrong. This is the answer, negative 2. Okay. If the problem had given us the mass of the object, let's say it told us uh, the mass of the object is 4 kilograms, what would be the acceleration of the object? Well, F equals MA. The net force on the object would be negative 2. The mass is 4 kilogram. What's, what is the acceleration? The acceleration will be negative half. Negative 1 half, which is negative 0.5 meters per second squared. So the four kilogram object would accelerate towards the left at an acceleration of 0.5 meter per second squared. Okay, so that is the answer for that negative two newtons.